All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 8. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by adding 8 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 8 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite 8 as... 2 to the power of 3. So I have x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is 0. And the reason I did that was because if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to x minus 2, and b is equal to 2. So I get x minus 2 plus 2 times x minus 2 squared minus 2 times x minus 2 plus 2 squared, and this is equal to 0. Now we can simplify this. So negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out. So I get x times x minus 2 squared is the same thing as x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then negative 2 times x minus 2, I can distribute the negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And finally, I have this plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Now from here... We can simplify what's in the parentheses. So I get x times x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 2x plus 4 plus 4. So this simplifies to x squared. Negative 4x minus 2x is negative 6x. And now I'm left with plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is plus 12. This is equal to 0. Now from here, this gives me two equations. I get x is equal to 0, and I get x squared minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. So x equals 0, this is already a solution. And x squared minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. To solve this, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 6, and c is 12. So if I plug these values in to my quadratic formula, I get negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 6 squared, which is 36, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 12, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 48 over 2 times 1, which is 2. And this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 48, which is negative 12 over 2. Now from here, a negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 12 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is the same thing as the imagined number i. So, I get x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 12i over 2. Now, the square root of 12, this is the same thing as the square root of 4 times 3, right? Which is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2. This is equal to 2 root 3. So, I get x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus 2 root 3 i over 2. Now if I divide my terms here by 2, I get x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus, these two cancel out, square root of 3 i. So my three solutions are x is equal to negative 3 plus square root of 3 i, x is equal to negative 3 minus square root of 3 i, and x is equal to 0.
All right, so in this problem, I have eight to the power of 11 plus eight to the power of 11 plus eight to the power of 11 plus eight to the power of 11. So I wanna find the value of this. So for my solution, I'm gonna rewrite my equation, or sorry, my problem over here. So I, eight to the power of 11 plus eight to the power of 11 plus eight to the power of 11 plus eight to the power of 11. Now, notice how all of these terms here are the same. So I have all the same terms adding with each other. And if I have something in the form a to the power of b plus a to the power of b plus a to the power of b plus a to the power of b, I can simply just factor out a to the power of b from here. So I get a to the power of b times, well, a to the power of b divided by itself is 1. So I get a to the power of b times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So in this case, I have a to the power of 11 plus itself 4 times. So I can factor out a to the power of 11. And I get a to the power of 11 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And now 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. So I get a to the power of 11 times 4. Now from here, a to the power of 11, I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3. I'm gonna, all I did was rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. And now 4, I can also rewrite this as a power of 2. 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 11 that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 11, which is equal to 2 to the power of 33, because 3 times 11 is 33. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 11, which is equal to 2 to the power of 33. So now I have 2 to the power of 33 times 2 squared. Now, the last part is fairly easy step. Because both of these bases are the same, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So over here, I have 2 to the power of 33 times 2 squared. I can think of a as 2, m as 33, and n as 2. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 33 plus 2 which is equal to 2 to the power of 35. So this is my final answer, and I actually can't simplify this anymore because 2 to the power of 35 is a crazy big number. So this is my final answer. And also, the only way that this solving process could have been faster is in my first step over here. I took a whole three steps to rewrite 8 to the power of 11 plus itself 4 times as 8 to the power of 11 times 4, when I could have just saw that when it's the same term adding by itself x amount of times, it's just that term times x. So that's a faster way.